hello friends i am back and uh, in uh, so far uh, 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 windows for it professionals we have created we have installed sigwin and in the last video um, i have shown how to install vmware workstation and in this we will see how to create a vm okay so before getting into um, the details of uh, how to create a vm first you need to understand what is a vm vm stands for v virtual machine and uh, uh, you can have uh, uh, any virtual machine on your PC. So your PC is window, uh, Windows laptop. In this case, it's Windows 8 laptop. And I'm trying to create virtual machines with the different configurations. OK, so virtual machine uh, is nothing but a virtual uh, group of virtual hardware. Like your laptop have RAM or memory. It has a hard disk. It has a processor and uh, those are the uh, more, most important things and also network to connect to the internet and all so similar to that even your virtual machine has to have those four things at the core okay and uh, for uh, for that you just have to create click on file and hit new virtual machine and uh, we uh, if you are advanced user you can click on custom yeah, but for, for us we can just click on typical click on next and here, uh, if you have a uh, OS software already in a disk, you can directly install OS on your virtual machine. But in this case, I don't want to install OS now. I just want to create a virtual machine. So I'm choosing the third option. I will install the operating system later. OK, and then click on Next. And here, um, on your virtual machine, you can install any of these OSs. You can install Microsoft OS, you can install uh, Microsoft Windows, you can install Linux, you can install Novel Netware, you can install Solaris, blah, blah, blah. And here, um, you can install, uh, uh, as I want to install Linux, uh, I, uh, I have chosen Linux, and, uh, it, uh, and then, uh, as I have selected CentOS 64 bit earlier, it, it has opted for that automatically. And uh, uh, in this case, you can see bunch of Linux uh, Linux flavors here. You can install CentOS, you can install Ubuntu, you can install Red Hat. You can uh, also install Oracle Enterprise Linux. So I will highly recommend to either uh, go for Red Hat Enterprise Linux or Oracle Enterprise Linux or CentOS or Fedora. These four are the Red Hat flavors. And if you know one, uh, uh, either CentOS or Fedora or uh, uh, Red Hat or Oracle Enterprise Linux, you can uh, easily transition to any, any of the other flavors. Learn one of those four and you can easily tra uh, transfer yourself to the other three. And uh, Ubuntu is also very famous, but Ubuntu is a desktop Linux uh, version. So people like uh, uh, people who don't want Windows for their desktop, they can choose Ubuntu. But most of the uh, enterprises they use the Red Hat flavor uh, to uh, for uh, uh, to host their applications. So uh, uh, I will highly recommend to. Uh, to use Red Hat flavor over Ubuntu for your purpose. If you use Red Hat flavor, you can explore Oracle technologies, you can explore big data technologies, you can explore any other server uh, um, or ap uh, application uh, side technologies. Okay, in this case, I am using CentOS and I will highly recommend you to go for 64 bit. Now, 32 bit is uh, fading away, so don't worry about 32 bit, uh, just go for 64 bit. Okay, um, uh, the reason why it is asking uh, these things is when you try to create a new virtual machine uh, by choosing certain uh, ha uh, hardwares, uh, VMware is smart enough. So by choosing certain software, VMware uh, is smart enough to set up your VM uh, up to some extent. That's why it is asking for this information. Click on next and here I want to create a template of uh, by using CentOS. So that's why I'm rename, uh, naming it as Cento, uh, template for CentOS 64, uh, CentOS 64, and uh, this is a base because I might 
have to have multiple levels of templates to explore all the technologies over time so i'm just uh, uh, i just want to be uh, uh, careful about that that's why i have given base at the end okay and i want it to be big data base click on next and uh, now it is coming for uh, our hardware configuration uh, for our vm it's kind of virtual hardware that's why it says virtual disk and by default it takes 20 gb and i'm fine with that and uh, i want to leave the split virtual disk into multiple files if you do this uh, if you want to move your virtual machine from one laptop to other laptop it will be easy if you do split virtual disk into multiple files uh, because you will have smaller files and it, the copying of smaller files uh, can be faster uh, especially if you uh, if you uh, do parallel copy otherwise you can store virtual disk as a single file also if you don't want to move performance might be a little bit better but for our purpose uh, uh, it won't be uh, that much uh, uh, important uh, e either you can go with single file or multiple files i am leaving it as default and uh, uh, then if you want to customize memory so we we it just asks for the hard disk but if you want to customize any other things you have to click on customize hardware and uh, you can customize whatever you want so we'll do we'll be doing customization later so don't worry about that now uh, 1gb is fine because it's just a template i will not be using um, uh, uh, to have any uh, uh, any big data technologies or anything on this template uh, so you will understand why i am creating this template later um, but for now just ignore and uh, uh, click on close okay and then click on finish now the template vm is created so we have hardware we don't have the os on that so in the next video we will see how to set up um, uh, operating system on this template so before we coming to the next video make sure you you downloaded the iso image uh, of centos 64 bit for that purpose i am you can go to google and i will be using centos 6.6 .6. so you uh, i will highly recommend you to download 6.6 .6 image click on enter and then you will get 6.6 .6 somewhere here If, if you already have uh, uh, DVD, uh, that's fine. Otherwise, uh, just download the ISO image on your uh, laptop. And I hope you all understand uh, the difference between uh, uh, what, a DV what a ISO image is. The ISO image is nothing but a uh, virtual copy of your CD or DVD. Uh, so you should have uh, uh, ISO image or a DVD before coming to the next video. Thank you very much.